The RTI Administration Console helps you monitor and administer your distributed system. In this video, we will walk through the key features. The first time you start the admin console, you will see a welcome screen that provides links to the documentations and also to this video. The document contains an overview of the main features, setup instructions, and also a step-by-step -step tutorial to help guide you get started with the product. Before using the admin console, it would be very helpful to scan through the available documentation first. The built-in documentation is also searchable. You can use it to help locate relevant information in the documentation. The admin console is built on top of the Eclipse framework and provides a very customizable layout. By default, you will see the layout as shown here with three main views. On the left, you will see the system tree view. This tree shows the list of hosts in your distributed system and the services or applications running in each host. In the bottom, you will see a table showing the current state of all the running services and applications. If there are any errors or warnings in a service or application, you'll also see them here under the notification columns. Near the top, you will see a system summary with the status of each host, such as CPU and memory information. Additional tabs will be added here to display details of other entities. Let's try to use the admin console to manage a routing service. I have a routing service running, and I can navigate to the host and click on the routing service to see the details of it. I can see many useful information here. I see the routing service is currently enabled. I can see how much CPU and memory this service is using. And I can also see that the service is currently healthy without any warning or errors. The performance statistics are also displayed in this view. And I can see that currently there are no data flowing through. This routing service instance is using the default configuration which routes all data from domain 0 to domain 1. Let me start the Shapes application to generate some data. I'm going to publish a square in domain 0 and subscribe to squares in domain 1. Now that there are data being routed by this routing service, I can see the statistics here. Let me add another circle and we'll see the numbers are increasing. Now let's try to control routing service through the admin console. The buttons here allow you to pause, resume, and enable or disable the routing service. We can try to pause the routing service here, and you can see the data stops being routed to domain 1. And of course, we can resume the data. You can also right-click on individual entities and control them through the context menu. In this view, you can also see the log messages published by this routing service instance. By default, it only shows warnings or errors if there are any, and you can see there are currently no warnings or errors. The admin console will display log messages from any application using the RTI distributed logger. To illustrate how this works, I'm going to start one of the examples provided by the distributed logger. All this simple example does is to publish a log message of various severity every couple of seconds. We can double click on the tab to maximize this view. You can see the timestamp of each log message 
and the severity level in different colors. Any applications that use the RTI distributor logger to publish their log messages will show up here in the admin console. There are many settings here for you to customize what log messages you will see. For instance, you can set the filter to show only logs above the warning level, and from now on, only messages with level warnings or above will be shown. And you can also create custom filters in the table directly. I can type in a text string in any column, and only messages that matches my string will be shown. You can clear the filter by clicking this icon on the right. Next, let's try to make some modifications to the routing service configuration. Click on the configuration link and the file will be displayed after a few seconds. You will see a dialog message when the data has been retrieved. You can choose not to display this message again in the future. Let's modify the configuration here. The default file is routing all topics. The configuration is displayed in two views you can use the graphical editor, or you can use the XML source directly. Let's change it by applying a filter so that only squares are allowed. And we'll also change the name of this configuration to squares only. When we are done with the modification, to apply the change, all we need to do is click the Apply button here. After a few seconds, when the configuration has been applied, a dialog will appear. Now if we look at the shapes application, we can see that only the squares are being routed and the circles have stopped. The admin console can also be used as a graphical editor for any QoS files. Just open any QoS file using this button. The admin console will provide a graphical interface for editing QoS files, auto completion, and syntax coloring, which makes it much easier to edit QoS files. There are many more additional features in the admin console. Be sure to browse through the documentation to see what you can do with the tool. For more information about this and other RTI products, visit rti.com.